one with the design. A little bit about the collection and the beautiful Kanishta that's with you. So our co collection is called Memories on Cloth and it's inspired by my childhood memories growing up in Bombay and I'm an 80s kid so growing up in a Parsi household we had lots of old textiles and I specialize in Parsi embroidery so this is my interpretation of these Parsi textiles and making it slightly more modern and taking it further. And Kanishta, if you can talk to us and tell us what it felt like walking for him. The garments are really comfortable. So that's really important when you wear it. They're really light and every detail has been looked into. They fit beautifully. Um, and like you said, you heard from Ashtin that it's about his childhood and growing up in a Parsi household. The birds of paradise, all the beautiful embroidery. There's, there's detail in everything. So all of you should definitely try to take a closer look and their beautiful clothes. And if we can hear from you on House of Three and the collection that we see on Siddharth and Sabha. Well, before I start talking about uh, Kumari Kandam, which is what we showcased, congratulations, Asdeen. Your, your embroideries are exquisite. And from one fellow designer to another, it's amazing. Um, Kumari Kandam is a journey uh, both as an environmental awakening and also as an anthropological connect, where we go down our history. Uh, there, there used to be a landmass called Limuria, long back, along with Atlantis, etc. The Tamilians call that uh, Kumari Kandam. That's the root of Tamil civilization. Every season we have a format where we take up two states and we work with the crafts and textiles of both, marrying them seamlessly. This season it's about West Bengal and um, Tamil Nadu quite simply because Anu is a Tamil and um, I'm a Bengali. Um, we have the pleasure and the honor of having my good friend Siddharth here and Saba. Saba and I have uh, recorded the soundtrack that you all would have heard at the show. Uh, this was a project very passionate to us, us all, uh, <coughs> because um, to me fashion is not just about clothes. This isn't just a journey of clothes. It's, it's a journey where um, we take care of not just the body. House of Three is clothing for the mind, body, and soul. It's important that we as civilians, as citizens, are responsible about how we behave. It's important that we have the right to love our country the way we want to. Uh, it's important that uh, we are compassionate. We have empathy for each other. Uh, if we have survived 10,000 years of civilization, uh, despite existential issues all through, there's only a certain few value systems that, that have held us together. And all of us believe that is the case. It's empathy, it's respect for one another, it's the ability to embrace another, even if you do not agree with them. So that's the message. We are here to spread the message of love through textiles, through the mediums that we uh, can dabble our hands in. It's fashion and it's music, so that's all that we did to put up an experience in front of you all. Wonderful. Um, would you like something to add to this? Are you sure? If you can tell us what it felt like walking for him, whoever wants to go first. Okay. <laughs> um, I know Seanuk from a while back. Um, and uh, when he came to me and said, listen, I'm doing this collection and you have to do the music for it. And I was like, yes, of course I'll do the music. And then he drops a bomb on me and says, and you have to walk for me. I said, I don't do that. I'm a musician. That's all I can do. But look at the clothes. They're stunning. And the idea behind it. Um, and I think like he said, that we all come from the same place. And we're going through a difficult time in the country right now. And it's time to talk about love. It's time to talk about coexisting in diversity. Um, I'm wearing a beautiful Jamdani dress. The fact that it's sustainable, the fact that he's been working for 20 years to make sustainability accessible is amazing and I'm so, so proud to work for him. 
I'm really, really happy to be here. Uh, I'm wearing some really stunning clothes, as you can see. This is a marriage, an amalgamation between Kanjivaram from Tamil Nadu and beautiful Maslin and beautiful Kadi from Bengal. A Bengali and a Tamilian did some beautiful things together. Usually great arguments come when these two demographics meet. Some great fabric and some great aesthetic has come out. But more importantly, we're here for a very common message. And the message is if Kanjivaram and Maslin can get along, why can't we all just get along? It's about sustainability of our environment, about taking care of what we really care for, even though we honestly don't seem to show our love for the environment often enough. And the second thing is, disagreement is a way of life. I think we can still communicate. I think we can still get along, despite the fact that we might disagree on issues. So keeping issues aside, it's important to come together. Fashion needs to be both sudden and enduring. And that's how relationships and a country itself have to be, sudden and enduring. And I hope we'll do that. And I hope this statement has made some sense to all of you. Thanks. I think that's a very beautiful statement. When I look at you, you have colors, you have black and white, and you have something that's so wearable and everyday. And it's beautiful to see the sustainability doesn't have to have a single connotation. It can be 365 all the time. And it, this is a beautiful marriage, all of you on this platform. I'd like to open the floor for any questions, if anyone has any. I don't know if I'm speaking about uh, West Bengal and Tamil Nadu meeting together. So in which ways can you elaborate that? Well, uh, we had the privilege of working with a master weaver, Rajiv Devnath, who's very quietly standing out there. He's a sixth generation master weaver. Um, <clears throat> he's from Kalna, Kalna, West Bengal. Uh, all these exquisite textiles, they are the finest handloom khadi cottons that you can find in the world. Now Bengal, for hundreds of years, even before partition, I mean West Bengal and Bangladesh are basically the same people. It's one thoughtless British who came and divided the country up, the people up in 45 days. But that apart, for hundreds of years, we've been uh, making the finest muslins and he's, he's a man on a mission. He is reviving the muslin. And uh, that's on one hand. On the other hand, we've worked with a couple of master weavers in uh, Tamil Nadu, in uh, Kumbakonam and in Kanchipur. That's where all these Kanjivarams come from, like what Siddharth is wearing. Um, it's an amalgamation of both these cultures. And at the same time, Kumari Kandam, the name, is not just an anthropological connect. That entire continent submerged underwater 11,000 years back. We have the same fate in front of us in another 30, 40 years, but we carry on in oblivion. Unless we wake up, wake ourselves up, we'll have the same fate again. So we've got embroideries of aquatic uh, uh, life. We've got prints also uh, across sustainable fabrics uh, from both these uh, uh, states. Uh, that's essentially how we've uh, elaborated. I wanted to elaborate a little more on the, on the embroidery textures and technicalities on the garment. You'll see some beautiful commonalities between Tamil, I mean, Kanjivaram weaving and Jamdani weaving, which is that of the temple border. You'll see that very common. So what we've done is we've used the temple border and certain other common motifs as a crosshatch between both of them. And also the, the kolam and the alpona that Bengalis do have a lot of commonalities in terms of how it's drawn, the entire, you know, the, um, the white texture that it creates, that has been incorporated this, uh, here as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Siddharth, uh, what is your style mantra? I'm actually the worst person to ask this question to because I look good when, when people who know what they're doing dress me up. Otherwise, I'm a lazy dresser, but I'll always look comfortable in what I'm wearing. So that's my style mantra. They'll never say, he looks really uncomfortable in what he's wearing. I've never heard that about anything, whether it's swim trunks or a veshti or it's pants or pajama pants or harem pants. I wear lots of lazy summer clothing, but I try to look comfortable in them. Does that make sense? See, I get the approval from a stylist and a designer and, and people who know what they're doing, I'm okay with it. There you go. Thank you. Thank you.